So test one. I'm up. Okay, so these are the senior postings that we've been looking at. Okay, there's a color poster, black and white. Okay, and this is grade 11 and 12. So as I'm watching this, I'm also watching myself on the screen. Not because of ego, but because I have to see how this works. So you see again with the senior essay, how much detail goes into it. We're not responsible for this, but we are at the junior level. So our level is 200 to 350 words. The senior poem, again, you see beyond 32 lines. We're responsible for 16 to 32. Color poster for intermediate. So this is grade seven to 10. Again, they have a little more at their disposal in regards to technology. Technology and resources, okay? A moment of silence is the theme of this essay. Remembrance is the theme of this essay. So, intermediate poem. Remember the freedom that others have brought. Others have died, others have fought. Remember the freedom that others would give. Others have died, but today we may live. Remember the poppies that grow in the fields. Where others are buried, others now feel. The pain and the sorrow that war always knows. Remember the poppy in the field as it blows. Remember those others who lives paid for life. Life is free as a person, free without strife. War is now over, thanks be to those whose lives have been given for what they chose. They have chose freedom, freedom for us. For this we are thankful, so now we must. Remember them, hold them close yet. We must remember, lest we forget. So there you see the junior posters, which is what we're going to be responsible for. I think people in this class can do just as well as these junior posters, okay? These are great. These are from roughly 10 years ago. Colored pencils are better. Pencils are better. You'll see the art get better as the years goes on, but I think our class can do wonderful jobs with this. Okay, Jason, are you translating or do you need that right now? Okay. So the essay composition. He sits there on his regular slump beside the Lorraine trees in Flanders Field, France. A pleasant cry sounds from the field and he looks up into the bright, beautiful sky. Above doves gives a start and soar away. In a nearby oak tree, two larks are feeding their young. Sadness fills his heart as he sees a woman weeping on a stone. It was a grave containing her husband, another life-risking soldier, losing it all in the line of duty. The people among the living are sharing the world with the people of the dead in Flanders fields. A flag was billowing in the wind like a rapid snake, never wanting to surrender, while the stones stay motionless as if captivated by the ground beneath it. He is there and he is thinking, reciting. There he writes down the first few words. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses. He is another soldier, another among others. He lived respectfully in the past. He watched as each fell and he had heard the screams, the bloodshed of every day. He remembered the laughs they shared, the meals of which they talked, the suffering they had gone through. Looking around Flanders fields, he peers above the rows of poppies surrounding his fields. He honors them and puts a poppy over his heart. He stands up and lies down on the soft green grass. He watches the poppy spring up anew for one other life lost. He looks to the sky above him and the rolling hills on his sides. A smirk appears across his face. He is now ready to accompany his long lost companions and he readies himself for a faraway trip. The ghostly wind engulfs him like a blanket and wraps around him as he lets go of his life. In this place stands a marble grave. He lived a great life and gave freedom to all of us. He was a soldier, he was a doctor, he was John McRae, maker of Flanders Field. So that's a pretty good reflection of John McRae, okay? Um, that's actually unbelievably good for a junior student. But again, I think people in this class are capable of it. Junior poem. First place, soft and free. Red and round, soft and free, shows the one that died for me. The ones that left to say farewell, and those that fought and lived to tell. A poppy is now what I wear in memory of those who care. I hope I'll live to see the day when war will end and peace will stay. Until then, my poppy will stand, a sign of respect throughout this land. Red and round, soft and free, show the ones that died for me. 
Again, this one is 16 lines. <coughs> and it was the first place winner. I have four steps to the battlefield, but it seems so far away. My life before my eyes, as I put my foot down, I'm only three steps away. I have three steps to the battlefield of how I will miss my little girl. My wife, my friends, my family, as my foot hits the ground, I am only two steps away. I have two steps to the battlefield, how I hope I do survive. I can hear the guns a-blowing, hear the cannons roar. As my foot hits the cold, hard ground, I am one step away. I have one step to the battlefield, and that's not far at all. I will take a step and serve my country in this violent war. My foot goes down, a bomb goes boom, the whole world goes black. I lay there in the battlefield, sleeping from my wound. I will die here in no man's land as a soldier, strong and true. Second place. So pretty good. Now, the primary pictures. Again, I think this one is phenomenal for a primary student, as is this one. These are very, very good as well. But as you see, as the years goes on, there's going to be more and more. Okay, there's going to be more uh, detail because of the drawing materials that we have. So that's going to be video one. It seems like it worked. For when we come back from recess, I'm actually going to play it to see how the sound is. And I'm actually, after recess, going to do another exemplar, but this time with an iPad to see how it works. So we're trying to get the perfect video going. Okay? For you guys, and I'm going to switch gears now and stop the video. So this is good. I'm seeing how to stop it. <laughs> 